On this episode of Little Mythic Classic, we'll be lapping some valves. Welcome back to Live With A Classic. Like I mentioned on this episode, it's all about lapping valves. I'm working on the 1975 XJ6. So if you're new to my channel, I have a 1975 XJ6 I bought right around Christmas with a filled head gasket. I have the engine taken apart, at least the top half of it. Head is on the bench. I've gone through it. Everything is fine. It's not warped. Now I'm getting ready to put it all back onto the car. So the one thing I want to do while I have it on the bench is lap the valve so I can get the best seal possible. If you knew and you missed some of the previous videos, I put a link to them up above and down below. It's a whole playlist so you can watch in order and get up to speed. While you're watching them, if you like them, please subscribe. I put new videos every week on some great Jaguar and classic car related content. So if you like that kind of stuff, I highly recommend that you subscribe to my channel. So it's really easy to lap valves at home. All you need is a little suction cup tool like this. You can get them in almost any other parts store. They're very common. And then you need some lapping compound, a um, coarse one and a fine one. You can also get them about anywhere and this doesn't really cost anything at all. It's really easy to do. It's just a little time consuming. It'll be a little sore in your hands when you're done, but you'll have a great feeling knowing that you worked on the internals of your engine yourself and that the valves now will seal up as nicely as they can. So let's head over to my workbench and I'll show you how easy it is to lap your own valves. So here's the valve we're gonna lap. It's the exhaust valve on cylinder number five. I've already done cylinder number six over here. If you look carefully, you can see that this is a little bit duller. It's a lot shinier here and it's shinier over here as well. So when you're done, you want a little bit of a duller look like this. That way you know that it's been lapped. You can see the same thing in here. It's a little bit shinier and a little bit uneven. So first thing we're gonna do is I've cleaned off this valve and degreased it just so I can get the suction cup to stick on there well. So I'm gonna try and stick it on as centered as I can. Then I take some of the coarse compound on the end of a screwdriver and just get an even coat all the way around on the mating surface of the valve. Be very careful not to get any on the stem. I want to keep that clean. Then I grab this little bit of oil to put on the stem to keep that lubricated. Insert the valve. Now you use both hands and just rock it back and forth. Twist it 90 degrees every now and then. After a while, you'll hear the tone change a bit. You hear now how it sounds really rough, like rough sandpaper. After a while, it'll get more and more quiet. It'll get more quiet like this. And that's when you know that the compound has done its job. It's not really cutting or lapping anymore. So when you've done that, you can pull the valve out and have a look at it. All right, now I'm just gonna wipe off anything that's left on the valve. We'll wipe out the seat also. And let's have a look. It's already starting to look pretty good. I'm just gonna do it once more to so put on some new compound, go once more, and then let's have a look at it. All right, now I changed tone again, second time around. So pull the valve out. I'll clean it off and let's have a look. That's a really nice surface now. That's just some of the old compound still on there. It's a nice smooth surface all the way around. So I'm gonna clean off in here as well. We'll have a look. and that looks very nice, even and clean in there as well. I'm gonna to switch to the finer compound now. 
and do everything exactly the same again, but with a fine compound. Now I'm putting on the fine compound. It's basically the exact same stuff, just a finer grain, kind of when you, like when you're sanding and you change the grain of the sandpaper. So same idea, nice even coat all the way around. A little bit of oil on that valve stem. And the exact same thing again. Twist it back and forth. Turn it 90 degrees. Twist it back and forth. Turn it 90 degrees. Just keep going until the tone changes again. Now it should be done, so I'll just take out the valve, clean it off. Let's have a look at the results. And here are the results. As you can see, it's nice and even all the way around. And it looks a little matte, just like I said, it's not a shiny finish. It's a gray sort of matte finish all the way around. So that's where the valve is gonna seat perfectly. The valve seat, which looks exactly the same, also gray and matte. So this will seal up really well. And then I just have 10 more to do, and I'm almost ready to get this head back on the car. And that's it for today's episode. Like you saw, it's really easy to do. It's something that you can easily do at home. It's not very expensive and it's really satisfying when you're done with it. So what's next? Well, there's a lot that's gonna go on in the next couple of weeks. So I have all the parts now. So the head's gonna go back together. I'm gonna lap the last of those valves, put all the springs back in, put in new seals everywhere. I'm gonna put all the head studs back in the car. I'm gonna put the core plugs back in then we get the head back on. So that will be an episode as well. I'm working on the SU carbs at the moment. That'll be a separate video also. And I know you guys are pretty excited about seeing some more things on the SU carbs. So don't worry, that's coming up. I'm already working on that as I'm filming this. Then I'm gonna go through the parts outside the car, just have a look at starter motor, make sure it looks okay. Clean it up and possibly paint it. Clean up the alternator, the power steering pump, all the brackets. It's just a lot of cleaning. Then we're gonna replace all the hoses in the engine bay, coolant and fuel, and some of the brake hoses as well. And when that's done, we can finally start it up. So I'm hoping that by the end of February, I should be able to start this up if everything goes to plan. So, you know, just stay tuned. There will be a startup video as well, a first start in the first run of this car once all back together. I'm really, really excited to get back together. Let me know in the comments down below, what video are you looking forward to the most? Have you lapped your own valves before? Have you also, like me, found that it's kind of nice to do, but your hands get super sore? Let me know in the comments down below. Until next time, I'm Adam, and this was Living With A Classic. I'll see you soon.